Hello everyone, this is Body Robbings and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations G Prosecutor's Path, where we're continuing on in the fourth case of the game, The Forgotten Turnabout, Middle Part 2. Alright, we defeated Lada. Finally. Now then, it's time to come clean. Tell me everything that you know. I was watching the action. Gathering info for my story. You didn't just watch, though. You got shocking photos, too, right? Yeah, a little while after the auction started. Someone won a bid, and the conductor banged the gavel. Someone hollered, we'll finish the deal upstairs, or something like that. That ain't good, I thought to myself as I hurried back to hide behind the statue. Did you see whoever came up? Not quite, but I reckon the fella that came up was the winner of the bid. I could smell the buttery aroma of big fat walls of cash. Buttery aroma? I don't think cash smells good at all. <laughs> I can't imagine that at all. I reckon this room is where the bidders ponied up the dough for their purchases. The two of them talked for a while. Wait, there was a second person in the storeroom. You betcha. I reckon it was the conductor. And then out of nowhere, one of them started screaming. Almost scared my britches off. I rolled myself up into a ball and kept on laying low. So you witnessed the murder? Well, I wouldn't say that I witnessed it, but I definitely heard it though. Didn't you try to stop them? Just stop right there? That ain't even funny. What's a dainty little thing like me gonna do? Dainty? <laughs> After that, I heard me some rustling and bustling. I mean, yeah, I don't know. All alone up there, I don't know if I would feel comfortable to try to stop a murder. I would probably end up getting killed too, so. The whole time, I was really regretting coming here for something fierce. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I mean... But nothing gets in the way of Lotta Hot and her photos. So, you're lucky they didn't hear the, you taking the picture then. Did she remember to turn off the flash at least? This was my big scoop. Ain't no way I was gonna let it slip away. A bit later, I heard this loud thud. I figured it was my last chance to snap a photo from behind the statue. Well then, would you please show us the photo? Aw, why do I have to? Hmm. This is the person in the red raincoat. Uh. Person in the red raincoat who attacked K. Person in the red raincoat. What is with murderers wearing red co raincoats in this game? The person in the red raincoat assaulted the victim in the storeroom. And then attacked K on the roof? Well, there's blood in the hand. You see it there. There's only one person in this photo. Where is the victim? Yeah, I thought it was strange too. I could have sworn there were two of them, but... When I looked, there was only the one. But there's gotta be the killer, don't you reckon? So she's saying the victim disappeared. Interesting. You were able to tell this person was the culprit just by looking. Their hand was stained bright red, so I figured it was them. What happened to the auction after the murder? Nothing really. It just went on like normal. I guess those rich folks didn't give a hoot. They got some nerve. They didn't hear the screaming? Isn't this like right above that room that they were in? Which by the way should be the PIC meeting room. Hmm. That's strange. The nerve of a journalist is nothing to scoff at either. Okay, so we got some interesting information. Uh, should we do logic? What do we got? Auction. One at a time. Exited the same way. Victim disappeared. I don't know. Let me... 
No. Let's look again. Let me check this. Yeah, but I just want to look for a second. So, one, so it's four. So there's 12 total. She said there were 11 people? So one mask is missing, and that's the one we found with K, right? Hmm. I don't see the green one, though. The one that, sh that she said that the conductor was wearing. Interesting. Uh, ask me anything you want. Um. Could we... What does it say? Eleven people, each of them wearing a mask. Auction continued even after. I mean... Scientifically speaking, I'd have to say that the details are unknown. So in plain English, you don't know anything about it, right? It's not that I don't know, it's just that the details are unknown. No, I was trying to say, can't you... Do you have anything, like, luminal on you? Um... Should we talk to Kay? Would that even help? Um... Maybe present the picture? The person who pushed me! I'm sure it was this person! Yet you don't remember the face. But that red raincoat... Um, I'm sure of it, I think. Probably. Please be more clear. I'd like a straight answer. Mr. Edgeworth, when you look at me like that, I begin to lose my confidence. My expression is not relevant. Was it this person or, no, or not? That red raincoat... It has to be the one. If that is true, it would be impossible for Kate to be the culprit. I need to gather more evidence. Hmm. I'm terribly sorry. Even if you give me that, I still don't remember anything about you. No, I wasn't planning on giving it to you. Hmm. At this point, the only thing I can think of doing then is to connect my logic, even though I'm not sure how, what we're saying exactly. Ah, uh, exited. Let's see. And... Whoosh! Oh, okay. Let me see what he's going to say, though. If we assume that the murder took place in the storeroom, then we must conclude that the body was here as well. Huh? Isn't that pretty obvious? Do you remember how the participants left the auction? Of course, they passed through the storeroom on the way back from the auction. Ah! Exactly. The culprit had to hide the body so that the participants wouldn't discover it. Gotcha. The real question is, where was the body hidden? Okay. Yes! Finally! Okay, so that's what I had to do to get... Because I was like, don't we have to ask for her to use her luminal or something? Because that's what she's here for. She's our scientific investigator buddy. Emma, would you mind lending me a hand? Leave it to me. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Use your luminal reagent to test for a blood reaction. If you would, please. Okay, let me show you the power of science. The glint in her eyes is getting brighter by the second. Let's start by examining that ladder over there. There we go. Based on Miss Hart's picture, the person in the red raincoat headed towards that ladder. Chances are, something will turn up if we check there. Just touch anything you want to examine. If you do that, you'll be able to spray the luminal reagent at it. If there's a blood stain on the spot where you sprayed, you'll get a reaction like this. Even so, ugh, no matter how many times I see blood stains, they're always so gruesome. And this is what you wanted, right? There's a blood reaction here, but it's kind of faint. 
Let's spray it with Luminol two or three more times so it'll be nice and clear. I'm not even doing it, but okay. You can see it clearly now. Ugh, it looks even more gruesome than before. Do you understand how to look for bloodstains now? There are probably a few more bloodstains here, so why don't you give it a try, Mr. Edgeworth? No? Nothing on the other side, so you only had blood on the left hand. Let's search the rest of the storeroom for bloodstains just like that. First, let's look for a place to spray the luminol reagent. Please examine the places you want to spray luminol on. Okay, examine, you said. Well, if you... The, the goal here is to find where the body was hidden. And if you really think about it, you guys, there's really only one obvious place. I mean, look at it. Hmm. You want to examine this spot? Yep. Let's spray luminol on every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Hey, that's my line. I know. There it is. Mr. Edgeworth, there's a bloodstain here too. However, why is there bloodstain in a place like this? Maybe something that had blood on it was stored inside? Okay. Mr. Edgeworth, there are places we still haven't checked yet. So let's continue our investigation. Uh, where else should I examine? Is it the, I can't examine the floor. Maybe where the candelabra was? You want to examine this spot? Unfortunately, there were no reactions here. Okay. Uh, the money? You want to examine the spot? No reactions. Okay. Next place would be the elevator, I guess. You want to examine the spot? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Let's spray luminol on every looking cranny. Miss Stretchworth, there's a reaction. It's a blood stain. But why in a place like this? Perhaps this was where the murder took place, right there? Wow. Ah, it looks like some of the blood dripped down to the floor below. We did see blood down there. Right by the statue, right? Okay. Looks like we found all the blood stains in this storeroom. It seems we have investigated the storeroom sufficiently. Now what? Oh, okay. We know the body was in there, so... And... Whoosh! The reason why we found a blood stain in the costume trunk is because the murderer hid the body in that box. I wonder who won the bed for it. The trunk, I mean. That I don't know. In a certain way, everything worked out exactly as someone wanted. Hold it, hold it. It couldn't have been in that dressing box. What do you mean? When I first came down here, that box caught my eye, too. It was just the right size and would have made the perfect hiding place. That's what I thought, anyway. But I couldn't get the dang thing to open. It'd been wrapped up real tight with a locked chain. The murder happened after that, so hiding the body in there would have been impossible, you know? A chain wrapped around it. That's a bit strange. Right now, it doesn't seem to be locked up at all. Huh. That's weird. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me or something? Okay. I seriously doubt your eyes were playing a trick on you like that. And with that, I believe we have examined everything there is to examine here. Well then, let's head on down. 
Oh, have we decided on our next destination? Hey, Kay! Uh, yes, Mr. Shields. We wouldn't want you to get lost, so make sure you stay real close to Uncle Ray, okay? Right. I'll follow you closely, Mr. Shields. These two. Since when did they get along like that? I don't like it. Daddy Edward's like, no. Oh, what a crowded elevator. <laughs> Lotta's face looked real blurry. Actually, they all look really blurry. <laughs> Oh, gotta love pixel art. April 5th, 7.43 p.m. Grand Tower PIC meeting room. Ooh. Mr. Edgeworth! Gumshoe, my love! This place is... I mean, why are you surprised? We knew that this was the 51st floor above the 50th floor, okay? Is this the auction hall? No, it's the meeting room from before. <laughs> I'll shut up the best. How nice of you to drop in, Kay Faraday. Oh, she's so cute. You've got some guts. Hey, you guys, arrest her, arrest her! White Kayas! As for the rest of the Riff Raff, just show them out the door. Uh-oh. This is tyranny! Yeah, it's tyranny, pal! Oh, I guess the elevator lift went back up on its own. There's only two cops and there's like a whole bunch of us. Miles, this is kinda bad. The light of justice shines above me. <laughs> ah, what you hick up shoot too? <laughs> oh, saved by the saved by the whip. Ouch! Why, me too. Oh, that's strange. I was aiming for that weak ex prosecutor. You were clearly aiming at me. Maybe something got in my way, particularly. Yeah. Right around there. <laughs> Franziska. Just what do you think you're doing here? Ex-prosecutor Bias Edgeberg. I do not believe that case the culprit behind this incident. You are just an ordinary man without investigation rights. What you say does not matter. I am Franziska van Karma. I will never stop moving forward. However, you chose to quit. The outcome of our battle has already been decided. I cast away my badge because it became a millstone around my neck. I shall continue moving forward, even without it. The path I walk will surely lead to the truth. My actions are driven by that belief, and that is something which will never change. So, you're saying that you found a path to the truth? Then show it to me. But if that path... proves to be a foolish one, it will not survive my whip. Oh. Head to head. Franziska's logic. No, Franziska! Don't you know Kay's innocent? The victim used her keycard and entered this room with the culprit. Then the culprit stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra, killing her. Shouldn't the letter make it obvious who the culprit is? Of course, the crime scene was right here in this room, the PIC meeting room. Yeah, your info is outdated, so... The proof is the bloodstain we found here in the meeting room. That settles it, Maya's edge first. Yeah, you're wrong, though. Miss Von Karma seems really confident, doesn't she? Is this the first time you've met her? I'm trying to remember. Because Emma... Uh, 
When she was in Investigations 1, I don't think she was involved in the case that Francisca was. I feel like they haven't met, but she's acting like she knows her already. I don't know. She's an Edgeworth, Edgeworth fangirl, so maybe that's how she knows. She always seems confident, and she's not. I mean, she's wrong, so. Oh, I see. She's a fiery one, isn't she? Oh, is this Ray's first time seeing her? <laughs> He's like, ooh, another one for my collection. No, Ray, no, bad. I don't mind a feisty cutie, so how about introductory hug? Even Ray gets to feel the sting of the whip. He's like, I'm not into that kind of stuff. I, I like vanilla stuff. <laughs> how repulsive. Well, my Edgeworth, can you break my logic? If you truly have no intention of stopping here, prove it to me with evidence. Very well, I'll show you, Francisca, the evidence that paves my path. Okay, but I think we'll be doing that in the next episode. This one's a little shorter, but I have things to take care of. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and until next time. Have a nice day. Bye.